This episode of Jack is brought to you by Weaver Leather. So it's been a week since we recorded last, and I've made a few more changes, and I'm really excited about this stage of Jack's training. First, I've gone ahead and I've changed up to a real spur instead of a slip-on. So it's like a 10-point rowel, not real sharp, but it's just a little longer, and he graduated through the baby spur real fast. So that's, it makes this a little bit easier, and you'll see how I'll eventually be rolling this spur. One of the reasons that spurs have rowels on them, even if they're covered with mud, is because you can roll them up the horse's side, as opposed to what people often think of just jabbing the horse. But the rowel is there to roll, and that's the way that I'll be communicating with Jack in the future. And so now I've got this on, and I'm excited to show you where he's come with his spiraling out, which will lead to counterbending. And then I'm real excited to start teaching him to spin, which I haven't done any of because I wanted to catch the first day on video. So first I'll show you what I was working on last week, which was the spiraling out. I'm going to go out here around this cone because it's going to make it a little bit visually easier for you to see where I'm going. And if you've been watching this whole series of videos, you'll remember that when I was riding him real early inside, I was parking my hand on the saddle horn, or in different videos you'll see me park my hands down here. But the whole idea of, of anchoring this outside hand has been that it got me to where I could really control him with just this inside rein. And so once I got him real broke to the inside rein, and then I rode him around two-handed, some out here just kind of cruising around. But now that he's pretty broke to the inside rein, what I wanted to start doing was working on teaching him how to spiral out. And last week you saw me talking about just little clips of it. Now what I'm going to do is show you what it's looking like now. So I'm going to come around here. I'm going to anchor this hand down here on this leg, grab the seam of my pants. And then this hand, my right hand in this case, is going to be what's talking to his shoulder. The left hand is telling him to bend. The right hand is telling him where to take his shoulder. So you can see him drifting out away from the cone. That's because he's starting to really understand that when I pick up on the reins, when he was a young baby, he's still young, but when I was first riding him, if I picked up on the right rein or the left rein, in this case the left rein, if I pulled on the left rein, it meant bend your head to the left and take your body to the left. Now he's starting to learn more complex thoughts, and this is the first big complex thought that really is a breakthrough moment, I think, for them, especially headed towards being able to neck rein. And that is where I can bend him, so I anchor the bending hand, and then I can pick up on this hand here, and there you saw him kind of toss his head up there because he's, he's still not automatic at answering the question, but you can see him really move his shoulder out really nice there. And so I'll go the other way and show you that it's pretty much the same both directions. He really, in the last week, went from what we saw last time, which was confusion about this idea, to where I can really do this. Now I'm gonna get my bend established here. Don't eat the cone, Jack. And then I'm gonna go ahead, now that I've got my bend circle kind of more established, I'm gonna pick up here. There's a little bit of resistance in his face. I'm driving with both legs. If you see when I come around at one of these angles, you'll see that both of my legs are waving or bumping along his sides because they're saying, keep going, keep going. And then, again, I'm going to spiral him out here with this left hand now. And you can see that he's starting to understand that in this case, the inside rein or the right rein is telling him to bend a certain direction, and the left rein is saying, take your shoulder to the left. You can also see that it's not taking a lot of rein pressure. I can actually, like, drape the reins over my thumbs, and I can drive him forward both legs. You'll notice even though I'm going to the left, you'll still see my left leg bumping. But for me, that is excellent for a young horse with a week of working on spiraling out. And that is my prerequisite before I start working on the spin. Because this is actually harder. Getting the shoulder to fade out is more complicated and a little harder concept for them to grasp than starting the spin. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with the spin right now, now that he's graduated through that, which is really exciting. I'll continue using that and you'll see how spiraling out in that shoulder control is going to be a pretty big deal in the future. 
You can also see one of the side effects of doing this is his head is really low. It's not because I've forced him or tricked him or done anything weird. He's, he's actually taking the advantage of stretching his neck down. And he, and he understands that when I'm picking up on these reins, he's starting to understand that these are communicating to him. And then when I release him, he stretches his neck down. So as you notice, he'll start really just lowering his head and stretching and relaxing. Another thing you should really notice is even though I was doing all this stuff with his mouth, his mouth is real quiet. He's not chomping at the bit. So even when I'm picking up and doing this stuff, he's saying he understands because his physical cues, his mouth is real quiet. So he's saying he understands. So now I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how I start the spin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, lengthen this outside rein and park it either on the saddle horn or somewhere on the saddle. Sometimes I'll do it down on the pad. But I just want to make that hand inactive because this is now going to be all about the inside rein. And what I want to do here is I'm going to go around and I'm going to kind of pick up on him and see if I can't feel that inside front foot. So I'm going to pick up and when I feel that inside front foot step over to the side, I'm going to drop my hand back down. I'm going to pick up. I'm driving with my legs, driving forward. Now in this case, I am going to start to use just a little bit more outside leg only. So that inside leg is going to get quiet. And that outside leg is going to keep bumping. So I'll release the inside leg, bumping. And he's not really stepping what I would say. He, to spin, he's going to need to step behind, going this direction, behind 3 o'clock. So if straight ahead of him is 12 o'clock, if his neck's straight, his right front foot to be able to do a good spin is actually going to need to step back behind 3 o'clock, so back to like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. There I just rewarded him because he kind of followed himself around there. But he's not really taking big steps, but this is actually how it begins, just this real subtle picking up. That was nice because actually I picked up on him and we'd been going around in that same circle, and when I picked up, he started to go, hey, I have an idea. We've been going right, 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 right. And he actually offered to bring that leg across. And it's that softness that's going to make him spin really nice when it's kind of his idea, as opposed to me just grabbing and forcing him. One more thing I wanted to follow up on before I forget is that I was showing you last week how I just started to back him up. And so we can also see that he so he stops pretty nice and last week I was just getting like a step or two I'm gonna sit here and hold he's kind of watching some horses over there in the round pen not really paying as much attention but he's starting to get a much more fluid backup and one thing I noticed during this last week is that after I got done backing up and you'll see he's a little more resistant to move his body and you'll see him chomping at the bit a little bit more one thing I really like to do after I back up is to turn and walk out of it. But I've kind of been avoiding that because it's actually the beginning of working on the spin. So I was really excited to be able to videotape this so I can start doing it. So I'm going to just pull his head over to the side here. And you'll see how he kind of walked forward and out of it. And that's going to start to change as I start to be able to spin him. I'm going to walk him forward, pick up on the reins, hold that pressure, soften, pick up, hold, soften pick up, hold, soften. You'll notice I soften when his head is down a little bit. Like you can almost see when I release his head goes down even further. Soften. And then I'm going to say, okay, that was okay. But I'm going to turn him. And you'll notice, he, again, that was a little bit cleaner step to the right. Last time was to the left. But he's not really, he doesn't really understand the finer points of moving his feet but I'm excited to see where I can get him in the next week. Pick up, ask him to take a step back. I'm just holding, I'm not using my legs. Step back. I released and then I just asked again. He was actually doing this much better yesterday, but he's apparently having a bad day on this. Nice try. Pick up, outside leg waving. Bring him around this way. So this is actually going to start to work on both his steering and his backup. I'm going to play around with the idea of the spin this direction. The idea of following that rein with your shoulder. Pick up. 
release when I feel him come through this way. Outside leg, release when he comes through the shoulder to the left. Good. And so that's what I'm going to work on mostly for this next week. We'll be adding a, a lot more of those steps to the side, just giving him the opportunity to practice that, as well as maintaining that ability to spiral out and work on the backup. Join us next week for another episode of Jack.